because no one in the world has the experience of dealing with this kind of fire. Now, there is a cloud of radioactive material moving across the Soviet Union. Dick says it is too early to determine whether it will reach the United States, but he says, even if it does, it is highly unlikely, and I want to stress Rox's language, highly unlikely that there would be a level of radiation that reached the United States that would be dangerous to public health. Now, as to the Americans that may be in the area of Kiev, they said, Dick says the U.S. has no accurate count that the Americans traveling to the Soviet Union don't have to inform the embassy of their whereabouts, and there is a group of Americans, too, in the Kiev area who believe we have no information on them, and the Soviets have not told us anything that would suggest that uh, any Americans had been involved in, in a casualty list. As far as help for the Soviet Union, uh, uh, Assistant Secretary of State Ridgeway expressed to the Soviet charge in Washington uh, a few hours ago that the United States was ready to help, and we uh, very much regret what happened. But so far, the Soviets have Yeah, I wouldn't mean him. I don't know if he's gay or straight. I like to know if he is. I don't know if you have the answer to this. Mm -hmm. As you heard in, in the introduction to this program, we are somewhere between two and 2,000 in terms of fatalities here. The Soviets are acknowledging that two people have died. Diplomatic sources are saying it could be as many as 2,000. Uh, did Larry Speaks have anything to say on that subject? He was certainly asked and said he has nothing to report on casualties. He had no casualty figures. As usual, said, they're very uh, shy about revealing anything that would suggest the United States to our national technical needs or any other method uh, has information that is not public. But Steve could flatly deny that we knew about this accident before the Soviets made it public. There is a report, as you know, that we learned about it perhaps late Friday or early Saturday through our own spy satellite or some other intelligence team. All right, Sam Donaldson, thank you very much for that late update. We, of course, know little of what Soviet authorities are doing for their own people in the immediate vicinity of the accident, but in neighboring Poland, authorities have taken immediate and decisive action. Standing by live in Warsaw is ABC correspondent David Ensor. David, what's happening in Poland? Uh, Ted, uh, the, uh, the government has uh, banned the sale of milk, restricted it, and a special government commission has been set up uh, with, My uh, God. Uh, 